All right, so in this problem here, uh, we're actually going to look at um, a situation where we're doing an integral uh, that results again from a volume of a solid. Except unlike maybe some of the ones we had before, uh, we're going to have maybe a little extra work involved in the integral. So in this case, we have the function f of x equals 1 over x plus 2. Uh, we're looking at that function bounded by that and the x-axis, uh, y equals 0, uh, on the interval from 0 to 3. We're going to take that solid, that region, and revolve it about the x-axis. And we want to find the volume using our two methods, uh, washers and shells. So first thing, let's take a look at the graph. So I'm just going to hop on to Desmos here. Uh, 1 divided by uh, x plus 2. Okay, and then zoom in to the uh, part of the graph that we're worried about, which is between 0 and 3. So that's actually going to be this part of the graph here between 0 and 3. So I'm not worried about the other stuff there, just between 0 and 3. So I'll take that as my picture here now. And let's uh, take a look at it. Okay. So just uh, put that picture in. And we're going to focus first on the washer approach. So first of all, we're dealing with the region here. Again, between 0 and 3. And we're going to revolve that about the x-axis. Okay. So remember with washers, we want to measure uh, perpendicular to the axis we're rotating around. In other words, we're going to take our rectangle and we're going to be looking at it vertically like that uh, with our washer. So in this case, there's only the single function. We only have the height, and then the other one is the axis itself. So there's no second function. So for that one, uh, we would just do our integral of our height function, uh, the radius squared. So integral along the x from 0 to 3 of pi times the radius squared, which actually would result in 1 over x plus 2 quantity squared dx. So this one's pretty straightforward. Uh, we can let u, uh, since we have that quantity squared, let u be the inside. du, we'll just call for a dx. So we have everything we need to change it over to u. Uh, so that's going to actually be, uh, when I write it here, uh, the integral at my, uh, of pi on the outside, integral 0 to 3 of x plus 2 to the minus second dx. Right. And then we just let u be that stuff. And so it'll be the integral of u to the minus second du because that carries right through. So for a u to the minus second, we just use the power rule. Right? We would add 1 to the exponent, which would make it u to the minus 1, or minus 1 over u. And then we continue doing that. So we'll have a minus pi times 1 over u, but u is x plus 2. So this time I use my substitution step without actually writing out the conversion over to u. And then we evaluate that between our two limits of integration, 0 to 3, and just go ahead and work that out. Uh, so negative pi outside. On the inside, we're going to have plug in 3, that'll be 1 fifth minus, plug in 0, 1 half, 
So we just do the subtraction for the fractions. Uh, one fifth minus one half, you get a common denominator. The one fifth will become two tenths. One half will become five tenths. Two minus five will be negative three over ten times the negative pi will give us a positive three pi over ten. Positive three pi over ten. Okay, so now we've done our volume using uh, washers. Let's turn around now and do the volume uh, here, part B, with shells. Let's turn around and do everything with shells now. So <clears throat> remember for shells, uh, we want to measure parallel to the axes uh, that we're uh, revolving around. So in this case, since we're revolving around the x-axis, then we're going to be measuring parallel, uh, which would put us in terms of the y-axis as far as we integrate. So let us do that. Subdivision there, division there. And again, we're dealing with that area right here. That's the region. That's the region there. And again, our rectangles are going to move parallel. And what I want you to observe here when we do this is that there's actually two different situations that we're dealing with. There's actually two different situations that we're dealing with here. Uh, on the one hand, we're coming over and hitting some of our rectangles are hitting the graph of the function, right? The graph of our function. And some of them are coming straight up and hitting right up to the three. Okay. Some of them are coming right over and hitting right up to the three. Uh, this point on the graph here, you can solve to find out where that is. When would it be three? Uh, that's the point three. If you plug three in to the function, the y value is one fifth. Okay. So that's where that's happening. So uh, and it continues up to, as you can see here, a half. Continues up to a half. So from zero to one fifth, point two, right? You're just going to be dealing with that constant function that's going to be revolved. Uh, it's always just going to be three. Then you're going to convert from uh, one fifth up to a half then you're going to be dealing with the, the second function, which we will have to uh, express uh, in terms of y, right, as a function of y. Okay. So let's first uh, take our function and express it as a function of y. Uh, so y is equal to 1 over x plus 2, right, and we need to solve for x. So we multiply through uh, both sides by x plus 2. Give me xy plus 2y equals 1. Right, and remember, we're now solving for x. So bring the 2y over and divide by y. Get x equals 1 minus 2y over y. Uh, and then we're good to go. Now we can simplify that. Uh, function, but it's actually not going to matter. It's going to come out in the wash uh, when we do our shell method. Because remember, shells, uh, the integral is 2 pi times x times your width function, or in this case, 2 pi times y times your width function. So this is going to again be two integrals. So we have 2 pi integral 0 to 1 fifth of y times 3, or just 3y dy, plus 2 pi times the integral from 1 fifth to 1 half, right, the upper point there, in our region of y times our width function 1 minus y over y. 
dy. Right? And then we just go through and uh, simplify here. We'll just go through and simplify. So I'm going to take that 3 and pull it out front with the 2. Make that 6 pi. And it will 0 to 1 fifth of y dy. And here uh, the y's will cancel out. So I have plus 2 pi times the integral from 1 fifth. Eh, it's not behaving very well. 1 fifth to 1 half of 1 minus 2y dy. And then we just uh, go through and simplify. Uh, so first one, integral of y would be y squared divided by 2. So that would actually be 3 pi y squared between 0 and 1 fifth. And then plus 2 pi times y minus y squared evaluated between one fifth and one half. Okay? And then we just evaluate. And this is really where you come in and say, hey, I'm going to uh, bring a little bit of technology in uh, to this problem. So on the one hand here, uh, leave out the pi. So, go to my just regular old little calculator here. Uh, I'm going to leave out the pi. So, the first part was uh, 3y squared. So, that's going to be 3 times 1 fifth squared. And then the zero part's not going to do anything. So, 3 times 1 fifth squared, 3 over 25. Okay. Plus... And then we'll evaluate it the other ways. 2 times quantity, quantity. Uh, the first one is evaluating it 1 half. So that'll be just 0.5 minus 0.5 squared. Right. And then that's minus evaluated at 1 fifth. Minus, and then parentheses, 0.2 minus 0.2 squared. Okay, close the first parenthesis there for that. Close the second parenthesis, and this should come out to be, if everything is right, 3 tenths, which it does. Okay, so again, uh, what I have here is I had 3y squared, y is 1 fifth, so 3 times 1 fifth squared, 3 over 25, plus 2 times 0.5 minus 0.5 squared, minus 0.2 minus 0.2 squared. Okay. You could do that arithmetic all by hand, uh, but it's just 3 tenths. And so then we attach that to our pi, and we have 3 pi over 10. Okay. 3 pi over 10. Uh, so this was just the volume uh, of a solid. Uh, it was mostly just to, you know, demonstrate specifically the uh, the washer way, really, uh, where we had to use our substitution technique uh, here. Uh, this other one didn't require any substitution, but it did require a little bit of extra work subdivision-wise. Okay. All right.